Hello and welcome back to part 2 of the Hurricane build from Airfix. So this is where we kind of let, well, finished off last time in part 1. We had the cockpit built and here it is all built up lovely. And I have to say it's a really nice kit. And underneath I've done some pipe work underneath that comes included with the kit. Of course some compressor tank at the bottom there. Now the wings, this is a low wing, you have to work with this afterwards. Now it does say it's painted silver but I'm painting mine green and you've got four parts in total. You've got the bottom wing, this back sprue part here that goes to the back wall and then you've got these two struts over the top and they've gone in pretty simple so that's pretty nice. Now the next part we have to do is to place this on like so. So, phone just gone off. Um, just have a look. Nope, nothing else. So apparently, this now very nicely fits on like so. So you have to make sure it all lines up as well. Oh, okay, that's new. Uh, right. Right, so that's in there. If oh. on the edge there, oh, there. So I think I'm going to have to acquire some tape to actually get this fitted in. Just press down the so this back piece tape where's the tape over here so yeah this is one problem I've had so far is that the the strut bars are actually not that quite cemented down properly or moulded for things, so you have to kind of push them into place, which is going to be a right pain. Like that. So we get this bit, this bit down, like that. There you have it. That's one side down, moulded in. So I have to do the other side now. It's going to be brilliant. Once you've got one down, you have to do the other lot, which is going to be a pain. They have it. 
I'm just pushing to tight gaps here so that it could be molded in. So there you have it, that's kind of how it's represented. So I'm just going to do this main one here, the front. It hasn't quite gone in. That was lucky. Just checking this part here. Hmm. Right, put some pegs on. I think that's the more simpler thing to do, put some pegs on. Like that. And the other one. Like that. So there you have it. Right. I'm just going to let that dry now because um, once you do this side, I'm just going to let this dry from it, then we can fit. Actually, we can do that now, I think. Because these end parts, again, need a fit going in. Like so. More pegs than needed, but some things. So there you are, so already it's proven to be a bit of a problem for the spars. But, you know, once they're in, there's no problem with them whatsoever. So I'm going to finally let that dry off, and then we're going to continue the next step, which will be fitting the machine guns into these compartments here. So that's going to be a really fun task. step we can actually get on with the guns so we're going to need this part to start off with and of course we're going to need um, the machine guns and the actual ammo boxes that are here now I just want to actually um, zoom you in on something here so proper look at yours well it's on over there Right where that dot is there, so we should mark it, I think. Um, let me refocus you. Now the ammo boxes are actually very nicely detailed as well as the machine guns. Um, just have a look. There's different ones of different sizes as well. And what it says to paint some silver, which I have done. Uh, I've just noticed that I need to paint the parts where the the bullets go in because they're gold aren't they really the shells are gold so I need to well brass so I, re so I re need to redo them when it's all fitted in and another thing is that the machine guns come in two different sizes you've got um, four long barreled ones and two um, short barreled ones so that's kind of how it sits in there basically but that's basically what we're going to do with the build. I'm just going to see. You alright? Yeah, you're fine with that. Just keep in the middle there. Where's the knife oh, pen? Let's have a look. There. So, as long as we've got that done there. Yeah. So, I'm guessing Dad's watch this and he's been noticing about my videos. Yeah. Right, so it goes. So we're going to start on this side here. And it goes long barreled, short barreled, long barreled, short barreled. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out, um, of course, two short, two long barreled and two short barreled. Be careful when cutting, guys, because they can break easily.
Oh. Oh, okay, so I managed to cock up already. Uh, whoops. Oh, so that right. So what I want, I've cut out thirty-one and thirty-three. Oh, so that we have to do this far side now. Right, okay. Change plan. We're gonna do this far side here. So let's turn the page and go to the next one. Trim a bit of the edges off here. There's a bit of um I'm just gonna take the top off a bit because it's uh how do you put it? Got a bit of um seam lines across the top. So the first one's gonna go in there apparently so. Where's the tweezers? Scratches seam you in a bit on this. See if so apparently that oh, this is actually pretty good to confusing. Right, okay, so apparently that fits in there. So that fits in there, that fits on the bottom there, apparently so. So you have to bear with me a second on this, guys. Like that, apparently, so. So, I we'll have to see if that works. Let's see how the other one fits in now. So done that one. So that one goes in there. Trim. That's the only trouble with Airfix kits. They put the where it holds onto the sprue in the most awkwardest of places ever. It's the only trouble with Airfix. So the second one goes in on there and in there. That's going pretty easy. You know, I just might have taken it out of view for you. Apologise for that. Uh, well, I'm just having a look, I'm just inspecting it now. Checking it over, it looks absolutely fine. Well, it looks absolutely fine to me. There's no problem there whatsoever. That's actually perfect, apparently. So there you are. Just the two, first two in. Now, E34. So why does it cross over like that? That is really confusing. So cut out the other two. Again, be careful not to break anything. Just have a look. 
box out of it. Like that. So that's the long valve one again. Put this in here. That's apparently all right now. Uh. Oh, that's better. Okay, I've just noticed the reason why they're looking so high up is because this spar isn't actually properly fixed down. You know, it's the how it's molded. So that's the problem we got with it. Let's see if we can get some clamps on there to hold that down in place. You, I know I might have taken out of focus and I understand. It's ridiculous. Why can't Airfix put things so simple? You know, they make brand new kits and don't even you know, not even like I don't know. So apparently that's kind of that. There's one there's of course one more to go in, but I'm just gonna hold this down like so. Well, it's this absolute pain. Why? Just right. I'm gonna go away and sort this out. Hold it for a bit, and then back in a second. So I managed to get everything in place. It's all fixed. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fit the ammo boxes next, which are oh, you know, that side. So the ammo boxes do, well, of course, give it a nice touch, even more so, because of course they were part of the main gun system on the Hurricane, like the Spitfire as well. So I'm just going to tidy these up. Now, apparently, the whole firing mechanism of the Spitfire and the Hurricane uh, held about, in total, 13 seconds worth of ammunition. That's not much, really, is it? But, if you use it in short bursts, use it wisely, shots on accuracy could get to you somewhere. And, of course, the equivalent to eight machine guns is the equivalent of today's system of two mini guns. So that is sit wow. Let's have a look at this fits there. Apparently that fits in there. Uh, let's see. Right. Actually scratch that. I'm going to get some black paint and go over the top of this. Um very thinly over the top. 
just realised, put them on, I won't be able to um, paint those. Right, so, let's have a look at that. Lucky. No, you, I'm just taking it out to shut and tie. There they are. Apparently, that goes like so. Apparently, they have it. Wow. Just see. I'm just go try and line it up. That is fine. That is actually spot on. Wow. That's one ammo box in. Just get it in shot there. Now the other one. Body. What's D forty seven? Let's have a look. Forty seven. This one. Again, tie this piece up. And that's that done. Wow, that is just fitted in like that. No problems whatsoever. And they actually do link up to the side of the machine guns. Wow, that is impressive. So that's the first time. Wow, I'm over the moon by that actually. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going away. Well, let dry first. Go away and touch everything up, paint some silver, dry brush the guns, and then. Uh, we can finish off by putting the other parts in, which I just remembered I do need to paint. We'll get back to that and then we'll see what happens then. Right, so, as you can see, um, I've repainted everything and I've also added some brass colour to where the ammunition stack so that's really nice. Now, the next part is we add um, two sides in. Um, Apparently a here, 64, and 24, this one. And uh, now these actually make up the sides of the actual um, ammo pouches on the side. My light has suddenly crawled over. Oh. Push that back a bit. Actually, now it's in my eye. Damn it. So let you see what I'm doing now. That's that, and then that one there, and that one there. They are. I'm just going to zoom out a bit more. They are. Now, just having a look. Apparently, that fits there, if I'm not mistaken. Like the so. same. Yeah. And then try a bit of that end. <sighs> that side goes on like that then. Right, so that's whoops. Uh like that. So that's that's just slotted in. No problems whatsoever. Well, there. 
Right, so that's there. Uh, what we're going to do now is put these side pots in. The D12, which is D12. Oh, they've actually put them in right order now on the sprue. That's actually something brand new. D11. Now, there's two different types now. You have to be curious not to get them the wrong way around. There's two different types of spars, these are. Um, you can tell by the, um, the different ways the, the bars are put on. This part goes on this side. That part goes on that side. It's simple as it tells you on the pictures and instructions as well. So you can't go wrong if you're an experienced modeler, that's if. If you're still a child, then you might. Well, I say child, I mean an experienced modeler. Apologies, apologies for that. I know there's um, a few good people out there, who are actually very good modelers and are very, very young age. So, I'll give credit to them, I apologise for what I've just mentioned. And while I mention that, I'm just going to put a bit of glow clear down there. And that side. And that side there. Some tweezers. Let's get this. What's the sander actually? Sand a bit at the top of this stuff. Uh, and the lock. Yep, yeah, that's the right way. And apparently now, slide this bottom bit underneath there. Come on. There you, there you are. We've done it, lads. There you are. I'm not going... And there you have it, that's one side done. Uh, whoops. Right, so they have to kind of pull them into here in order for it to fit on. So I'm just have to rest my finger here for a second just to hold that piece in like that, which shouldn't take too long. Um, talking about which, where has that other piece gone? Oh, but yeah. oh there it is, over there. I lost then. The trouble is, it sticks just like when you're doing stuff like this, it kind of like sticks to your hand sometimes, and then you kind of tend to lose things like tape. Just going to cut a little bit of tape. And we're going to. So, if it will stay on, do I have it? Alright, so that's the first one done. Second one, here. Apparently that goes exactly the same but on the other side. That's, that's, oh, that's much better, that's gone in perfectly. Like so. Right. Well, that's that is kind of done now. So. Right. So apparently they're supposed to join up, but that is a little bit short. Oh. 
Oh, I don't know then. Well, I'm, I, I don't know what to say. That's that's just basically a tiny little bit short, and it, I don't know if you can see there. I don't know if anyone can see on that. That's, that is a. I was going to swear then, but. Oh, what is literally a fraction, a fraction too short? That is ridiculous. Really, Airfix? Really? Really? That is... That, that is just unbelievable. That is... Shouldn't really do that. It's literally a fraction off. Unless I push down on that end. But then would that fit on there? No, it wouldn't. Hold on a second. Let's see how this goes. So apparently this... Resting for wing. It's actually annoying me now. That goes over there like so. I'm just going to have to cut this up at purposes, I'm sorry. Move this out of the way. Oh, so I suppose it's not too bad then. Seems it's over like that. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, I apologise, Airfix. Okay, so I apologise. That is... That fits perfectly, so... Oh, my apologise. I'm really sorry about that. Right, so with that done, I'm going to work on the other one. Uh, touch up some few problems with this. And then... We can actually get on with... Actually, then... Putting the top wings on. So you are. That's really it. Um, okay, I'll see you in a bit. Here we have it. We have the hurricane in place. Move that to the side. And so now, basically, I just have a quick look through the instructions. I just had thought I might have a lot. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. Now it does say to put the navigation lights in, but I'm got. Well, I'm gonna do them last because of the lights. Uh, another thing is that over here. Um, I've painted the undersides uh, where they go in, like underneath there, in the green as well. So that's pretty handy doing that. And I've already test fitted it, and it looks really good. If I could put that there, it does need a bit of force to go in, as always. So that apparently goes like that. And if it will go in like that, oh, 
come on. Right, okay. Sets. Stupid bloody thing, excuse me. Right, if you can hear that in the background, it's my granddad talking again. Let's put a bit of glue across there. Sit pegs, I should have got them out before. Stupid thing. I think it's So I do need a bit of clamping these do. I just have to try and fix it up properly. See, there's no, nowhere to grab it on this case. So that's there. So we're having problems fitting this wing in place. It's kind of a, a very, very tight fit. So, well, the elastic bands have certainly worked, that's one thing. Uh, it's just this part where the landing light is that it doesn't fit in like that. But while it's all drying, let's put some of this stuff in along here. Edges there. That's one wing in, and that's kind of done. Let's get the other wing in, which is here. Again, painted green on the inside. And another elastic band. So I mean, what? Can't have any proper pegs. I can't. We... Trouble with the Airfix plastic is so smooth. There's just nothing to grip hold of. So I mean. Might put them there actually. Don't think that will go in either. That's a press right down in it. Like so. That's better. And there you have it. Well. Well, with that, I'm going to let that dry fully now and do some touch-ups on some other bits and pieces where I can do
So there you are. That's kind of Hurricane's wings in place, the cockpit and the gun bay as well. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with this. So, I'm going to let this dry, and then we'll see you in the next part. Alright, cheers and goodbye for now.